Well, I started when I was 18 years old. You know, I was kind of like a you know, rough kid growing up. And, you know, in and out of fights in school, fights on the school bus. And a guy actually came to me and said, you should try boxing. So, you know, I, I tried it out and I liked it. And ever since then, like, it really disciplined me. Like, it kept me out of trouble, kept me out of, out of the streets. And, um, you know, pretty much, like, I think it really saved my life. You know, it kept me away from drugs and alcohol and stuff like that. I started MBJ maybe 2011, and when I started, like, compared to other gyms, like, when I when I started at other gyms, it was just like, we kind of got in the ring and just spar. There really wasn't no discipline there. It wasn't, like, any kind of regimen. And ever since I started with MBJ, it was like, it was like a team, it was like a family, and I, and I, I became stronger, a lot better, and he taught me a lot, like, as far as being a technical boxer, you know. It was 2011 when we went to the Mid-Atlantic uh, Tournament at Philly, Front Street Gym, and I got a third round knockout. It was my, my actual first knockout in the boxing ring, and thanks to Sensei Greg, like he, he made me stronger, you know, because of the conditioning and the training that was provided, I was able to land a knockout, and I won the Mid-Atlantic in 2011, so I was a Mid-Atlantic champion. When you box and everything, like you kind of refrain from violence. It teaches you self-discipline. It's not like a street fight. Boxing is just an art. It's a sport just like any other sport. And, you know, I would recommend boxing for anybody that's, you know, in trouble or not even in trouble. Somebody that just wants to, you know, discipline themselves or learn self-defense. Like, because you can learn a lot of, you know, a lot of things with boxing. The most thing that stick out about, stick out about MVJ is that it's like a family. Like, we eat together, we train together. And, you, and if you're really going through like a family issue or anything or, you want to talk to anybody? You can come to any uh, any of your teammates, and they help you out. They give you a living, uh, a lending hand. Like, I mean, these guys mean a lot to me. Like compared to other gyms, where you know I didn't feel comfortable with talking to other people, and it's kind of like everybody was doing their own thing. You know, people didn't want to listen. Like we just by yourself. Here it's like a big family, and I appreciate everything MVJ did for me. Really, like with the sparring and like boxing, like sparring it actually gets you prepared for a bout. And technically, we're really not trying to kill each other. When you spar, you learn. Like, you learn from your mistakes. So when you go compete, you don't make the same mistakes in the ring. And, I mean, you might bleed. You might get bruised. Some people may get hurt. But it's, it's not really intentional. It's never personal. It's just you training, you working on skill, and, you know, just learning, man. It's just, it's just work. Like, I really want to become a professional fighter through uh, MVJ, Team MVJ. And, um... Hopefully I can make a good career out of it, make some money and and give back. That's my biggest goal is to, to learn, to train, and to give back, man, and be a professional athlete. I'm preparing for the November 16th bout at the Newark Sportsplex. And um, you know, since I've been here I feel real confident. I feel I feel ready. I know I'm ready. And you know, I just hope my opponents he trained hard as well, you know. May the best man win.